Well, in this video, I want to go ahead and do an update on the situation with plague in China. And there's been a lot of news reports on this, and I just want to um, give you the latest accurate information on the plague situation in China. And of course, you can check out my previous videos on this. The first two cases that were um, identified, the pneumonic cases in Beijing, um, you'll see that video below. And then the third case, I also did a video on. And all this has been reported in November of 2019. Now, this report came out on November 22nd, and this is from the Taiwan CDC, and it is um, Google translated. So the syntax is not perfect, but they're saying we have seen four cases of plague on mainland China this year. The interesting thing about this case, though, is they're bringing up a case that was reported um, later than uh, normal. Uh, the case was, it's actually the first case. They're calling it the fourth case, but it was the first case. And it says the first case was a septicemic plague death that occurred in Jiquan, Gansu province in September. So that was the first case of plague apparently in the country all year and uh and then of course there were the two cases that were from inner mongolia um, that were transferred to beijing the pneumonic plague cases that was the first one first set and then there was a third one uh, from inner mongolia where um it was a herdsman that got bubonic plague so this is just to go over the first case, which was in September, and it was the fourth case reported out of the five total to date. Um, and if we go to, this is from the Health Commission of Gansu Province, and this is their official uh, infectious disease report they put out on, on a monthly basis. In September 2019, the province reported, and it says we're here, one plague case, which was a death. And if we go down to their chart, and it's kind of small font, let me open it up a little bit. And if you can see in the third, um, in the third row, plague cases this month, one deaths, one. So there was that one plague case out of Gansu province. And then on November 29th, this was last week, um, this is a report from the Center for Health Protection with Hong Kong. And they are, this is where they're reporting the fifth case of plague. And this was another herder in Inner Mongolia. And it says, according to the Health Commission of Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, the, patients, the patient was diagnosed to have bubonic plague on November 27 and had been to a place where plague was known to occur. The patient has been admitted to the hospital for treatment under isolation and is in stable condition. Four contacts have remained asymptomatic so far and under medical surveillance. So Hong Kong reports so far... Four cases of plague have been confirmed in the mainland since November 2019, right? The two cases of pneumonic plague in Beijing and this being the second case of bubonic plague involving um, herdsmen from Inner Mongolia. And the Beijing cases were also from Inner Mongolia and they were transferred to Beijing Hospital. Okay, and this is just um, from the local health officials um, of this last case, um, and it's, um, again, the syntax is so-so. So on November 27th, a herdsman at the Suzy River Bank of, uh, from Siziwang Banner Ulankab was diagnosed with bubonic plague during consultation with experts from the state and the autonomous region during um, his uh, consultation at the Sizi Kwanki People's Hospital. So that's just uh, more information from local officials on the 
plague situation. Now, one of the things that some media have been uh, reporting on, and this is from a uh, website called Epoch Times, and they're reporting on uh, the big increase in rats in Inner Mongolia. And let's start here. There are many rat holes in the grassland, and we often see a couple of rats running around inside the house, according to this in, uh, Chinese individual who remained anonymous. Uh, quote, the authorities distributed rat poison to local residents, but I don't know it worked. It, but I know it won't work. There are just too many rats running in groups of hundreds. And then it goes down here. A staff member... from the local township government spoke to the Chinese language Epoch Times on the condition of uh, being anonymous. He confirmed that the rat population has become uncontrollable. He said government employees use tractors to deliver rat poison to local herdsmen, together with booklets containing information on the prevention of bubonic plague. And then it continues down here. He also revealed that at railway stations, bus stations, entry and exit sites of major cities in the area, government staff would take body, passengers' body temperatures. Some of the staff were seen wearing protective one-piece medical suits, making them feel that the situation is very serious. And then that really takes me to this video from um, the China Today Twitter page. And they have this... Uh, video of a helicopter doing rodent control in inner Mongolia and they're basically spreading um, preventing trying to prevent the spread of plague <laughs> on that real quickly and then just a little history of uh, plague in China it's it's not something that's unheard of plague is very endemic in parts of China um, but it does say that you know there were some serious serious times in China that uh, had to do with the plague it says in China tens of thousands of individuals died of the plague in the 19th century the third plague pandemic was caused by Yersinia pestis and originated from Yunnan province in China in the middle of the 19th century. It eventually affected more than 60 countries and regions worldwide. In China, plague epidemics have been successfully controlled in house rat foci uh, since the mid-1950s. Moreover, Active animal plague surveillance programs have been conducted annually in China since the 1980s. However, after a 26-year silent period, a human plague epidemic emerged in the western region of Yunnan and then spread eastward from 1986 to 2005. 507 human cases and two deaths were confirmed during this epidemic. So this uh, several-year um, epidemic saw over 500 cases. 29 of the 129 counties and 9 of the 16 prefectures or the cities were affected by the plague. So it's plague is not unknown and as I've shown you in previous uh, video reports that even in the the decade from 2000 to 2009 China is ranked in the top 10 as far as human plague cases. And I thought they had somewhere around 250 uh, during this time. So, again, in China, particularly the Inner Mongolia area, parts of Western China, uh, are endemic for plague. So, uh, be wary of some reports that you're seeing that this is some big crisis or something. And no, the, the, it's an endemic place for plague. So, um, no reason to panic over this. And, and this is from the World Health Organization. This is from uh, October 2017, and it gives you an update on the case count of human plague globally. 
And here it says from 20, 2010 to 2015, there were 3,248 cases reported worldwide, including 584 deaths. Currently, the three most endemic countries are the Democratic Republic of Congo, Madagascar, and Peru. So China is not even listed as one of the most endemic uh, countries in the world. But Western China is endemic for plague. And let me go ahead and just summarize with this report that I did on OutbreakNewsToday.com last week. Uh, the first case of septicemic plague death that occurred in Jiquan, Gansu, in September, right? So that was the first case in China this year, according to the Taiwan CDC. Then it said four cases have recently been confirmed since November 12th, all of which are from Inner Mongolia, including three cases in Zilongul League and one case in Ulan Kiab City. Two of the pneumonic plague cases have been transferred to Beijing Hospital for Treatment. The local health unit said on November 21st that the two cases were in critical condition. And that was the latest that I could get on that. Um, so anyway, that's an update and kind of a compilation of uh, things that have gone on in the month of November. Uh, as far as reporting from China, about China, about the plague. So just to kind of put all the pieces together, and I hope that helped. And we'll be keeping an eye on any additional cases that might come out of China. And uh, keeping an eye on also their um, uh, flea and rat eradication programs that they're trying to do out there. Because according to that one report that I showed you, that it clearly looks like a pretty massive problem. Okay, comment below, right? Please share this with your friends, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.